Hi guys, what's up, how are you? So today there is a French white wines uh, paired with uh, food. So which are the best uh, wine and food pairing for the French uh, white uh, wine? So today we will discover, we will go through some of the best uh, white wines from France and we will uh, check which are the best uh, food uh, pairings. So where you have the best expression, where you can emphasize both wine and food together at, it, at their best, I would say. Stay tuned. So the first wine I want to talk about is the Chardonnay from uh, Burgundy. So Burgundy is, uh, as we all know, I hope, uh, the best uh, region for the Chardonnay and Pinot Noir as well in the world. So they produce uh, the most elegant, the most um, uh, fine and with the greatest finesse Chardonnay in the world. My favorite comes from uh, Pouligny Morachet, Saint-Aubin, Sassinat Morachet, just to give you an idea. And uh, they have uh, this uh, great uh, minerality, flintiness, a little bit of flintiness uh, with uh, this uh, wet stone on the palate and the nose and also this nice uh, uh, tropical fruit, but very, very delicate, subtle. And uh, one of my favorite pairings for this uh, white uh, uh, wine is with uh, white uh, truffles. So with Fagiolini white truffles, for instance, or the most famous and very classic and simple to do egg yolk with uh, shaved on top of their white uh, truffle. So this uh, Chardonnay goes very very well with the truffle because um, uh, the, in this case you have the arom aromaticity of the truffle but it is not too strong like uh, the for instance a black truffle and the same thing is for the Chardonnay. Chardonnay really it is a great companion for this expensive uh, fruit. Another great pairing could be for instance with uh, some uh, pumpkin risotto pumpkin or uh, roasted pumpkin with some uh, crema cotta for instance or another great pairing it with the crustaceous uh, the sweet tendency of the, this meat of the crustaceous like lobster or shrimps in general um, it is uh, clean by the chardonnay the acidity from uh, the chardonnay uh, so mentioning our producer now would be a little bit uh, difficult because there are so many great producers in uh, in there uh, that um, um, it would be a little bit awkward for me to, to give you some. Anyway, I will show you some um, uh, examples, for instance, uh, Carillon, uh, Latour, uh, they produce extremely uh, great, great expressions. Another great uh, white uh, wine, uh, a bit less famous than the previous one, is the Melon de Bourgogne or Muscadet uh, sur Lee from the uh, west part of uh, Loire. We are close to Nantes to give you an idea. So Melon de Bourgogne is a, a white wine with um, a quite a neutral uh, aroma, aromas but it has a, uh, it develops itself very very well with the uh, lees uh, aging so it is aged on uh, lees instead there is written uh, muscadet sur lee muscadet is the appellation where uh, on what they call the melon de bourgogne so you can call it uh, in both uh, way so uh, melon de bourgogne goes perfectly with uh, seafood uh, it is uh, <laughs> The greatest uh, uh, match for this uh, wine, especially with uh, oysters. Oysters and the Melon de Bourgogne sur Lee are a great marriage. So, because uh, the sur Lee basically uh, makes uh, the wine a little bit more uh, mellow and uh, rounded, and these can basically contrapose the sharpness and the salinity of the uh, raw oysters fundamentally okay so that is one of my favorite uh, pairing uh, often there is the uh, concept that uh, oysters goes well only with the champagne but in my opinion is much much better than melon de bourgogne um, in this case i also made a video where you can see here on the link uh, the best uh, pairing for uh, champagne under the description below. So I hope you will enjoy also that uh, video. 
So even here there are a lot of great uh, producers uh, that uh, produce a uh, uh, great uh, uh, Melon de Pergona or Muscadet and uh, it is also not expensive and goes very very well as I said with the seafood but also with uh, light dishes in uh, general as aperitif by itself. Uh, uh, Landon is uh, one of my favorite and one that came out recently um, the, with a good good uh, expression of these uh, grapes so i hope you have the chance to try this uh, pairing so i hope you are enjoying the video and if this is the case uh, click the like button so this will help me a lot with the youtube algorithm and it will be greatly appreciated and also if you are liking the video and the channel subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss any new video coming out so this channel for who is it this channel so this channel i talk about wine and spirit and the, uh, their different expression we are going through the insights uh, and we are going to discover wines i give tips on what to buy and um, what to pair with that wine and uh, food and vice versa so if this is the channel you are looking for subscribe another great white wine from france comes from uh, Côte d'Uron from Chateauneuf du Pap specifically and it is a blend of mainly Marsan and uh, Roussan. This uh, white wine is uh, bolder than the previous one we have uh, uh, seen so far and so it can go very very well with the bolder food consequently so with uh, rich uh, fish like uh, fish stew, uh, pastas in general, risotti goes very very well or also light uh, meat like uh, chicken for instance or um, turkey goes perfectly uh, well so stone fruit nice minerality aromatic herbs uh, very very elegant very very long very persistent and uh, Chateau de Bocastel is uh, one of the best expression that you can get from this uh, region so I hope also you have the chance to try this uh, lovely white from France mm -hmm. And then there is this uh, another great, great uh, category that is the Sancerre and Polyfumé. This is 100% Sauvignon white uh, French is uh, beautifully uh, paired with the seafood in uh, general. Uh, with these uh, notes of a little bit of grass, uh, gooseberry, and with a nice mineralty flint specifically. One of my favorite is the uh, Didier Silex from Puli Fumé with this nice uh, and uh, um, very elegant uh, minerality. Uh, so I hope you have the chance to try the Sancerre and Polyfumé that are two great, great expression of the Loire Valley. We are in the inland part, so quite continental climate. And um, it is one of the greatest Sauvignon of the world. So I hope you have the chance. Another outstanding white wine from France is the Alsatian Riesling. Riesling here expresses itself very, very well. We are close to German. Um, so even here, uh, the, the Riesling is quite uh, similar, I would say, compared to the German one. Uh, it is quite hot, it is one of the driest part of uh, France because uh, Alsace uh, is um, um, basically sheltered by some uh, mountains and basically uh, uh, the Riesling here can uh, ripe very very well so we have the fully throttled Riesling so it is uh, rich in dense in uh, minerality and uh, fruitiness as well and one of the best pairing for the uh, Riesling in general is with the Asian food. Asian food like sushi or all the Chinese cuisine match perfectly uh, this uh, Riesling. Uh, if, also if you want to check out um, uh, the Riesling, uh, uh, another Riesling video absolutely uh, useful in my opinion for you if you are a Riesling lover where I pair the German Riesling with the Australian Riesling check out in the description below the link for that uh, video uh, so uh, Alsace and Riesling um, as I said are absolutely um, one of the best in the world one of the greatest producers is uh, Trimbach who 
who doesn't know Trimbach? Trimbach is probably the king, one of the king, one of the greatest uh, one. And even here they produce uh, uh, the dry version or the more sweeter one. Um, so up to you which one you prefer. So, but let's do a recap now. So, we he started from the Chardonnay from uh, Burgundy, that uh, it is uh, one of the most uh, uh, beautiful Chardonnay that you can get in the world. That goes very, very well with the uh, white truffles and uh, seafood in uh, general, like uh, specifically crustaceous mainly. Uh, this very nice uh, buttery note, uh, tropical fruit and uh, minerality as well. It's absolutely a mind-blowing uh, wine. Best expression you can find more than the producer here is the appellation that makes the difference. So one of my favorites is Saint Aubin for value and prestige, but also Purini Morache or Sachena Morache if you can. Then we went um, through the uh, Melon de Bourgogne. So Melon de Bourgogne is a less well-known uh, white wine from France, but that goes very, very well with the oysters and the seafood in general. Um, Muscadet, the Appellation, Melon de Bourgogne, the name of the grape, is usually um, vinified on leaves, so it is a bit more rounded, less uh, sharp than uh, maybe a classic uh, white wine. And then we have seen the Sancerre from uh, um, uh, Loire Valley, Sancerre and Polyfumain, with this uh, flintiness and minerality and grass uh, notes, uh, very, very uh, nice, perfect with seafood, aperitif and nipples. Um, Didier is uh, one of the best uh, expression with its uh, uh, silex. And then, to conclude, we have seen the bolder one, probably, um, the one with a little bit more body and intensity and persistency, that is the one from Marsan and Rustan from Chateau du Pape in Côte d'Iron. And here, Bocastel is one of the best expression. And here you can go with some heavier food, like maybe uh, pastas, uh, risottos, or light uh, chicken, or maybe intense and flavory uh, fish, like uh, stew or even salmon, I would say. So I hope you have found useful information and value out of uh, this uh, video. If this is the case, uh, click the like uh, button, smash it up. And so this will help me with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss any new video coming out. So I want to thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.